So hello guys, this is me Akash Ijar. So uh, today we are going to see about electives. Okay, electives are a new thing under CBME curriculum. So I have, I will reduce that one hour lecture of your class, which is uh, taken for sensitization for your electives into just 10 minutes. Okay. So if possible, uh, watch until end of this video and everything is very much important in this video. Thank you. The board of governors in suppression of medical council of India and competency based medical curriculum have introduced electives. Okay. So today in just four to five minutes, I will tell you about what is elective, what is its structure, what is its objectives and what are the outcomes. Okay. An elective is a learning experience created in the curriculum to provide an opportunity for the learner to explore, discover and experience areas of streams of interest in the profession. Means elective is like a sensitization for yourself for your near future. Like it will show what all new things you will experience in your near future. Here in this elective program, uh, it is it is for the students for diverse uh, learning, diverse experiences and research community projects that will stimulate self-directed learning and lateral thinking of the students. Okay, it is divided into two blocks, block one and block two. Okay, and what is the structure? It is divided into block one and block two. Block one will be preclinical and paraclinical subject. Block two will be clinical subject. Okay, and uh, all the uh, allocation. Uh, all the remaining things will be decided by your institution okay an institution will give you particular set of modules which contains required number of objectives and what are the prerequisites for the allocation of the electives based on this what are the objectives given you will decide your desired elective program and allocation will allocation process will be from by the your institution only means like uh, while uh, choosing your medical colleges how how you done the option entry in the same way you need to uh, do option entry for your elective topic also which you would like to do so when are you going to do your electives? It is before commencement of phase three MBBS part two means before the final year. Okay. It will be of two months, but sometime it may be of one month. Okay. 15 days, 15 days, or it may be 30 days, 30 days. Okay. In block one, it is preclinical, paraclinical and other basic sciences. Okay. In block two will be clinical. Uh, teaching will be supervised, experimental, immersive, self-directed. Okay. Uh, one mo one most important thing is that in block during block one uh, your postings will be regular but in block two postings will not be there and it is mandatory ma mandatory to maintain 75 percent attendance in both in both elect in both the blocks okay assessment will be formative record uh, logbook and portfolio okay you have to maintain your record and portfolio both okay next is uh, Institution out of the institution experiences allowed in block one, but it in you also need to attend your clinical postings in block one, so it's difficult. Okay, but in block two, it, it is allowed on the due approval. Okay, uh, but it is difficult to collab with other institution outside, but your institution may try for it. Your institution will give you a full set of modules means different kind of electives offered by the your different departments of your college. Okay, and uh, each module contains particular set of objectives okay objective means what all need to be done in though in that one month okay and they will give you a internal preceptor internal preceptor will be from our department if someone they are hiring from outside then it will be external preceptor okay if from other department also and you have to uh, need those objectives all the objectives and the prerequisites will be published earlier for you okay you should know which which uh, uh, which elective has better objectives you can choose that for your betterment okay here are some examples for block one and block two. Block one is preclinical and paraclinical and block two will be clinical. Okay. These are the different examples they can set up. Okay. You can go through it. Uh, you can see for assessment, you have to maintain your logbook and also you have to maintain your 75% attendance and along with that assessment, assessment will be in case of uh, seminars, uh, grand rounds, records, so record submission, logbook submission. It can be viva, it can be practical, it can be anything. Okay. Now let us see an example for block one. This is the module they will give. It is it is like a name of the block, like block one, name of the elective. Next, where it is, where you are going to do the elective, who is the internal preceptor, who is the external preceptor, if present. And they will give objectives, okay? And those objectives you have to do. And number of students they can accommodate, like four, three, okay? And what are the prerequisites? What, what the students should know? And what are the resources, like... Uh, uh, what are the resources from the department uh, for the from institution only next is what are the portfolio and what is how did you maintain your logbook and what is the mode of assessment okay 
this is the example for a uh, block 2 that is be clinical okay you can see name see it is same as block 1 name of the block uh, name of the elective where you are going to do what who is the internal preceptor who is the external preceptor what are the objectives what are the prerequisites and list of activities that student have participated and what are the learning resources means uh, which resource students are using maintain the portfolio and logbook is must and how is the assessment done these are the things which come under block 1 if you want you can take a screenshot of it okay nextly these are the things which come under block 2 okay you can take screenshot also here are some of the benefits of the elective program experimental learning and lateral thinking okay next is developing developing organizational and managerial skills copying with constraints time and resources encouraging entrepreneurship in health sciences here is here will be your elective committee okay now few advice i would like to give while choosing your elective program so before choosing what kind of elective see what are its objectives okay so after reading all the objectives of a elective module then decide that you want that elective module or not okay if the objectives are good you can choose the your desired elective so all it's not necessary like all the objectives set by an elective module will be good okay so choose your desired elective and choose your desired branch one more good thing is while choosing an elective elective module you can choose such a subject which will help you in your final year so that you can uh, you can be learning things of your final year and it will help you in your final year also the elective modules are made in such a way that the things which are learning in it are you will uh, not necessarily learn during your internship so you can choose such a elective module that you will never be never be going to do in your life and you are interested in that elective module also so one disadvantage of this elective program is it is just after your third year third year mbbs exams okay so while choosing the elective program choose such a such a topic that you will be enjoying that topic okay so because you might get bored also so while choosing be alert and choose such a topic so you will enjoy it thank you that's it for today jai hind jai bharat